I know, I know I mean, right I know now it looks like we don't have any songwriters. songwriters. And that's true. That's true. They both left. So, uh, no. <laughs> we all are just very social. We're having a good time. Ashley is off getting a, uh, yeah, there's, there's Ashley at Monocle. She's getting a guitar case because, as you know, we like to place out a guitar case, uh, at least in the second half. Um, so what that car guitar case is there for is because y'all have always been very generous at taking care of our guests. Um, who we pay a nominal amount to be here, a humbling amount, um, but y'all have taken very, very good care of them. Um, and so those are there for tips. Uh, if y'all could help out in any way, uh, even if it's just a buck or two, cool. And if not, no big deal. This is a free show. You can enjoy the music one way or the other. But, uh, but there it is. So. Why, why, didn't, why didn't we use my guitar case? <laughs> Because she was, trying she was grabbing a guitar case. You were grabbing a beer. <laughs> <laughs> we said we'd stop. We said we'd stop. Hey, I, I want to say something real quick uh, but before we get to this course. Uh, uh, you know, Mike Starks uh, came on whenever he had, we were contacted about a few different leads for getting a sponsor. And I called Mike Starks and never had met Mike before. And uh, just dealing with him, him and the people there, I got to say, from two hours away, they are some of the nicest people. He's got and, a great and, and, office, yeah. And I will say that he brought something up when I first talked to him on the phone. He was talking about a calendar that he does and how he believes in community and how, you know, strong community and helping his community and how there's so many great artists in his community. And, uh, man, it just made me so happy for Fredericksburg because mm -hmm. that's what yeah, I agree Yeah, with, yeah, he's know. a huge supporter of the community, community um, and wanted to do this out of his heart, not out of any kind of, like, business greed. It was really – he has a lot of uh, passion for what we're doing. I do want to correct that he's, he's a Remax agent. You can tell I haven't sold a house in a while. Um, so, I, uh, you know, Remax, not Real Max. If there's any competitor out there called Real Max, don't go to those people. Go to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are the chances? You know? But uh, but I do want to say again the tip the tip guitar case is there if y'all can help send these artists home. A hundred percent of what goes in there is going to go home with them. We're not taking anything else. He's just gonna they're gonna count it and split it and, and take off with it. So um, that's a blessing to them. And uh, Chad didn't bring any merch tonight. Um, Ashley did. So uh, y'all can just buy all her stuff and then laugh at Chad as you walk away. Um, <clears throat> I'll give him 5%. <laughs> hey. You know, we got to help our fellow artists. <laughs> You're welcome. But, um, but I really want to thank y'all as an audience before we kick off the second half music here. Y'all are wonderful. I brag about y'all. I was bragging about y'all backstage there to, uh, to Ashley and Chad before the show about how many of our artists love coming and playing this thing. And afterwards, they're like, man, thank you so much for having us. That was such a great show for me. Um, and they do that when we pay them kind of this embarrassing amount of money and stuff, but it's just because a songwriter loves to have a good audience. That's what, how we're wired, and y'all give them that. But y'all have also blessed us. We started asking for donations in the ticketing off of rockbox.com, and y'all are always welcome to come here for free. That's, that's our thing. That we want. We dream. That was our dream. We don't want to be charging for this. I, I, I hate to say that we'll never... But, you know, as things are today, we want to keep this thing a free show. And y'all keep showing up. There's just, it, it comes in and it helps a tremendous deal. And there have been a couple of very large donations um, from, from some of y'all who support that just blow my mind. And uh, I just can't express enough gratitude for the way that y'all have supported this so we could keep this going. Because it's over a year now. And we're talking about our 2025 bookings. So we're going to start filling up 2025. So we're not going anywhere. Thanks to y'all. So. If you want Chad and I to come back next October, you can put in a good word for us. <laughs> working it, working it. <laughs> I love it. Um, so here's my question as we kick off the second half here. Um, Y'all both have a lot of value in your music careers from relationships and collaboration. Um, and so uh, Chad's got an interesting story that I'm more familiar with than Ashley's, but I was talking with Ashley before the show because she took a hiatus from music for a while, and when she jumped back in, it was like, boom, like she's playing all these really cool places with some really cool people. I was like, how did you do that? Um, and, uh, and, and she was talking about how many friends she had in the business. Um, Chad's got a really cool story about how um, is, because you've had a little bit of a casual approach to your music career, you know? Um, 
showing us all up who, you know, worked hard at it, you know. <laughs> but, um, but you had an, a, an early run-in with a, with a bit of a hack Texas songwriter named Walt Wilkins who thinks he can write some songs. And, uh, the master. That was sarcasm, yeah. Walt, uh, Walt is, a, is a songwriting gem of our state. Um, but, uh, but you ran into him kind of on a social friend basis and y'all ended up sort of helping each other. And now y'all have collaborated and are collaborating currently for your new record that's coming out. So Walt Correct. has produced two albums for you, three now. Uh, this is the third. This is the third. Yes. So, um, so you know that's going to be cool. So anyways, I'd just love for y'all to talk for a second about the people who've helped you along the way and how that's been part of your musical journey to kind of have these relationships. So. Walt Wilkins is the center of it all whenever we get to talking about collaborations and yeah. people that I know in this part of the world, in the Hill Country, uh, musicians, it, it's kind of like, you know, don't they have, don't they say something about Kevin Bacon? Like, Yes, the, yeah, you know, six things, degrees. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, you can always trace it back to Kevin. <laughs> That's Walt Wilkins for me. Yeah. Pretty much everybody I know and everybody that I've worked with and just about every gig I've ever had, if I trace it back far enough, it always leads back to Walt. He's been such a, a gem and such a brother and has helped me so much, mm -hmm. really. And he's one of those guys that has a heart to give that to you. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's uh, just a golden dude. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I met with Walt over pancakes and coffee early on just to say, hey man, could you help me figure out how to do this music thing? And he did, and he didn't have a clue who I was. He just sat at the German bakery with me and talked to me about how I could do a music career. So, um, so yeah, super cool. Um, and we're excited to hear the new music, which is, uh, you don't have an exact timeline on that, but pretty soon you're going to have this pretty new record soon. out, right? So yeah, hopefully by Pre first year. Pretty soon is, is how the, uh, that's the official press message from the Chad Richard business camp. The album's yeah. going to be out pretty soon, so. Walt does have some nice hair, too, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's got, got some, long, yeah, he's got some <laughs> long locks, man. That's what I'm you're shooting to, for. I'm, I'm shooting for it, man. Yeah. I'm for it. You got it going on. Tell them I'm coming, man. Right. Just let them know. Right. <laughs> what about you, Ashley? Yeah, I'd love for you to talk a little bit about um, what it's looked like jumping back in the music business. Uh, you know, you, you have a few years of experience, life experience, and it's probably shaped your approach a little bit, I would think, um, you, different than you would if you jumped into this thing at 18 years old or something, right? Yeah, definitely, um, and and I will I will mention that uh, I go way back with Walt as well. <laughs> Everybody knows Walt. Um, <laughs> raise your hand if you know Walt. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, he used to hire me b way back in the day to do uh, harmonies on on records, and so yeah, he's just he's such a he's such a cool cat. Yeah. Um, Coolest. But. Uh, wait, sorry. What was the what was the question again? Well, it evolved a little bit. Something but about Walt Wilkins. <laughs> <laughs> it started. How do you know Walt Wilkins, Ashley? <laughs> we should call Walt. We're gonna call Walt. And be like, hey, Walt. This show's about you tonight. Um, no, it's just about the value of collaboration and relationships and how that's helped shape. Oh yeah. Music. I mean, I started. You know, I started writing songs when I was like 20, 21, and um, <clears throat> that was. Uh, almost two decades ago. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I, I started going to Songwriter Night at Cheatham Street Warehouse, um, met Kent Finley there who ran that joint and um, just made friends with a lot of people there. Um, we had, we, there's kind of a joke, it's like the class of whatever year it was of Cheatham Street because there's like, there's like groups of people that go through Cheatham Street and uh, mm -hmm. I was a part of one, I would say, maybe the year uh, 2010? <laughs> yeah, probably 2010. And, and um, I'm close friends with Kent Finley's daughter, Hallie, and we have a duo together called the Wildflowers um, that we started way back when, and then after like 10 years came back together recently in the last year. So um, yeah, I'm really bad at being short-winded with questions. Welcome, welcome to being um, a songwriter. It's a, yeah. it's a good yeah. place to be long-winded. Okay. Yeah, welcome to the club. Yeah. Um, hey, does anyone here, do you all know who Kent Finley is? Raise your hand if you know Kent Finley, if you've ever heard that name. Not many. Not, not few, many. Yeah. You want to you explain real quick? Just yeah, 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 yeah. Kent Finley, um, he's, he uh, passed away in 2015, but he had a venue called Cheatham Street Warehouse, and um, just 
it was like an incubator for songwriters and uh, f he helped foster so many songwriters. I mean, it, he took George Strait to, to Nashville for the first time. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan used to play at Cheatham Street way back in the day for like a dollar on Tuesdays. My, my parents went to college there. They went to go see Stevie like every week. Um, so Kent, Kent is responsible, I would say, or he had, he had a great deal to do with um, um, a lot of songwriters, yeah. There's a few of these uh, characters in the Texas business that are uber talents in and of themselves, but for some yeah. reason their path is to help others find yeah. theirs, and they're one of those people, right? So, yeah. And great songwriter, yeah. You can look up some of his songs on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I always like to talk about Kent a little bit at, at most shows I do. Just yeah. He's sort of a visionary, you know. He would, uh, you yeah. know, he made Wednesday nights were all about the songwriter when. He actually took a place, like a bar, in San Marcos, a college town, and said, listen, tonight you shut up and you listen to the songs. Mm -hmm. yeah. you you know, and, and I saw him what, kick people out. Yeah, no, and what a risk, and, and he didn't care. And, and uh, again, it's like this vision that he had. He was a visionary, and, and uh, yeah, even when it wasn't popular and wasn't cool, right? Very, very awesome. And, and funny, because Chad and I were talking about Kent, and then we went to the back, and you said that uh, you had gone to Cheatham Street yeah, so it's just funny how the circles yeah. go around. You know? He's another one of those Walt, Walt Wilkins types. Yeah, like yeah. Walt Wilkins yeah. types, everyone. Yeah, so anyway, and then uh, Joe Abel's at the Saxon Pub. He, he uh, started the Saxon Pub, and it's a family-run uh, venue in Austin on South Lamar, and he really uh, embraced me, you know, and took me under his wing as, as a, um, essentially a mentor um, back in the day, and... So when I came back into music like a year and a half ago um, and decided to start playing publicly again, I went into the Saxon Pub one night to see a sold out show of John Fulbright, um, and who's one of my favorite songwriters. He's from Oklahoma, check him out if you don't know who he is. And, uh, and I ran into J Jody and Joe Abels, Jody is the daughter, happened to be there and I hadn't seen them in like eight years, and the welcome, the, I didn't even think anyone would recognize me. I just wanted to go see the show. I had a hat on, I was just like, mm. and uh, they were like, Ashley? And I was like, yeah, I'm just here to see John Fulbright. And they ended up just like, they were like, when, you, when are we gonna get you back in? Nice. And it had been like eight years, yeah. and so that really moved me. I, I, I honestly, I, I, I was tearing up on my way home because the embrace that I felt, like I didn't, you know, I didn't think anyone remembered me really, and so um, it was really sweet, and and that's kind of what got me back into playing again. Mm. Um, was that that warm welcome? Value those relationships, you know. Yeah. Um, folks who burn bridges, he's like, you don't know what you're messing with, you don't know what you're losing sometimes, you know. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I to be honest, I had thought I'd burn bridges because I kind of just dropped off the face of the earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I when I quit, and so yeah. Anyway. So you say uh, you're playing publicly again? Did you play privately this yeah, whole time? Yeah, I did throughout that time. I I um I played at like. Um, well, uh, one thing I do that's a part of my, my music, uh, my job, is I go into drug and alcohol treatment centers and I bring music into those places. And so, um, you know, it's part, of my, it's part of my being a full-time musician. And so I did some of that during that time. And yeah, I've been, I've been sober for <laughs> about 12 years. At the end of this month, it'll be 12 years, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, drink beer. <laughs> we, we love you, Chad. We love you, Chad. You deserved it, man. I'll drink to that. <laughs> no, no, that's great. It's, uh, it is. I think it's a powerful testament to probably who you are as a, as a, as a person. You, no matter what you went through Absolutely. that was, uh, you know, that knocked you off course or whatever, you know. So, well, let's do music for these folks. Should we do that? You had something else you wanted to say, though. Don't let me I was going to say, sometimes, like, the deepest valleys are what bring us to uh, back, you know, home to what really matters. And every time I go through a valley like that, you know, that's hard and challenging and I feel alone, um, I, I come out, you know, feeling, like, more love and more connected because 
that's just how life works, it seems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Love it. Yeah. By the way, y'all, you're listening, I'm saying this for the airwaves, people, you're listening to Songwriter TX here in Fredericksburg at the Rockbox Theater with our guest Chad Richard and Ashley Monocle uh, featuring Texas songwriters. And let's do another round so people can hear you guys. All right. You know, all right. Do it. All right. I've got a song that speaks to some of what you were just talking about. <laughs> This is a song about me trying to kick um, my habit of uh, bluebell ice cream. <laughs> it's actually about anything that we try to do, and we, it's about disappointing ourselves and getting up every day and just trying again. You know, every day is a new day, right? I did things last night that caused me to feel real bad today. Things I swore I'd never do again, I'd done them anyway. Gave my weakness all my strength And I let it run the show Today, the man in my mirror Is a man I barely know between the man I am and the man I hope to be. You see, living good is tough because I can't seem to get enough of the things that ain't really good for me. So you made a mistake, it's okay. Today's the day that you're gonna get it right. Familiar morning words for a mirror that get forgotten every night. And I knew that it was wasted breath By the way, uh, what is your drug of choice when it comes to Bluebell? Which one? Millennium Crunch. Ooh, okay. Hands down. Yeah, yeah. You got some affirmation out there from those guys. Right. I'm having so hard to kick, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't get got... me Bluebelling tonight, man. <laughs> oh my God. You got good days and bad days. Yeah, that's right. Ashley, you got a favorite? You got a favorite Bluebell? 
I think just the vanilla. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, see, there's some folks. With, like, there's root some beer. Folks. You yeah. really are, Jeff. Root, root beer floats. Yes. All right, yeah. Put yeah. a cough drop in there, call it a day. Hey. <laughs> 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 we're, we're falling off. We're falling off. <laughs> <laughs> the bluebell's got us all crazy, Chad. Oh, you know? my gosh. Um, Sponsorships right. are available. Bluebell is welcome to sponsor this show. Bluebell. <laughs> We will just, take it. Just give us tubs of ice cream. You know, <laughs> just, yeah. Everyone, oh, they have a little thing. You know, yeah, little, little singles. Everyone could have one. That's if we do a petition, if we do a petition <laughs> up in here on Bluebell sponsorship, you guys will, y'all go back that, right? Get that right. <laughs> All right, Ash, save us, please, save us. All right. <laughs> this is a song called, uh, called I Want Jesus to Walk With Me, and, uh, I uh, I learned this song. I, I, I sing at a church out in Round Top, so opposite side of uh, Austin. And um, every most Sundays I, I sing there, and uh, it's it's really sweet. It's in an old chapel, and I get to learn new songs every week um, for that gig. And uh, the the priest there is very just knows so much music and so he introduced this song to me and I did it um, one Sunday a while back it's a song by Eric Bibb anyone know who that is yeah just Chad okay. yeah. just Chad we will after the night so. <laughs> am I kind of yeah I am I want Jesus Oh! 
All right, so how many of y'all want to start going to church in Round Top with me? <laughs> Come on out. I was looking up the mileage. I was like, I can make it. It's kind of far <laughs> from here. That was great. Man, That's that great. was beautiful. Yes, it was. Boone, I'm sure you got something. Let's give you some. Yeah, yeah. I actually was thinking about something, and then I started listening to the song, and I forgot. You know, I, was, <laughs> I don't know if you'll ever have that problem. <laughs> yeah, what, what I was thinking about is... Um, you know, uh, the world goes up and down and, and times get hard and we all face uh, trials at different times, you know, and definitely, you know, uh, I feel like just in unison sometimes we all kind of feel a sense of heaviness that waits over us all. And I feel like that we're living in a time sort of like that now. And I just wanted to know uh, where do y'all draw, besides music, where do y'all draw inspiration from in life? You know, like if you're just down, not feeling good. Uh, is it a person that you met along the way or maybe an instance just where does your inspiration come from in life man that's pretty deep uh, <laughs> hmm. trying to get past the bluebell dude wow no. you have to a, dig you're deep. asking a guy that's hooked on bluebell <laughs> um, you know I take it wherever I can get it but I you know uh, when things start weighing real heavy on me uh, I just try to be in the moment you know um, yeah, and we're, and just be still and try to steal my brain. You know, we think way too much, and our yeah. thoughts get us in a lot of trouble. Yeah. I'm speaking for myself, not y'all. Yeah. I thought sure you were speaking for me too. No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts get me in a lot yeah. of trouble sometimes. Yeah. So sometimes it's best just for me to just get somewhere and be still and listen, and mm, and then sir. and it'll come to me from somewhere. Yeah, you know, very yeah. nice, man. I love that. I just made it up. No, Ashley, no, okay. <laughs> his answer was about 20 seconds long, so how oh do you know? Um, he saved you some time. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, yeah, music and, uh, I mean, the, la the last song that I sing probably um, is might be telling. Um, you know, Jesus gets me through a lot. Um, and uh, family, uh, I think that, as years have gone by, I've realized more and more how important family is and, and just staying close to the people I love, my, my blood family and my chosen family um, with friends. And, um, you know, I like that, like getting, getting still. I, my, I, I have two cats and I love them a lot. <laughs> and uh, they just help me be present as well. Um, I want y'all to follow Ashley Monocle on her social media after tonight so you can get involved in the life of her cats. <laughs> what are their names? Uh, I, Moses and River. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, they were both like, you know, stranded all alone as like little baby kittens. So they're pretty, they're fun. Um, but yeah. What about you? What about y'all? I mean, I know you're, you're used right, to asking I'm out of here, Boone. She's like, turn the questions on us. <laughs> what do y'all draw? What, what, what it's like crossing what streams and Ghostbusters. Oh, 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 I, saw, I saw somebody said that, uh, just remember when you're having a bad day that somebody is always doing worse than you. So I draw my inspiration from thinking about those other poor people who are doing way worse than me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, just other people, relationships for sure. And... Uh, yeah, uh, ironies, you know, little little subtle tales of life that uh, may seem like nothing, but I think if you pay attention to them, they may uh, speak a lot more in depth than we give them credit for sometimes. So I draw a lot of inspiration from those things, but uh, I just think it's an interesting time to, to draw. One, one thing I've had this conversation with people is you're going to meet, uh, so I think about how many people you meet in your life, and I think inside of every single person you'll meet, there is some of the worst traits and some of the best traits. And, you know, like your song, whichever uh, lens you, you choose to see and whatever you choose to take from that uh, meeting or that relationship is truly up to you. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I find my inspiration from just meeting people and hearing stories, doing this right here. This always lifts me up every single time, I'll tell you for sure. Yeah. This yeah, Boone, you're, uh, Boone brought fresh air, fresh breath into this show because of his love for what this is. And uh, I've been doing it for several years, so I just want to 
Thank you for that too, Boone, because um, uh, you're the Ed McMahon to my Johnny Carson man. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, Ashley, I, a lot of songwriters I know kind of draw on the dark places, um, and we'll talk about that. Like, it's when, when things really hurt, you know, that's when good songs come out of that. And when I went through my divorce a few years ago, uh, one songwriter told me, uh, I said, yeah, man, I haven't been able to really write any songs, you know, good songs lately. And he's like, well, you're about to. Um, that was Aaron Lacombe who told me that, by the way. But, uh, but he was wrong. Um, he was wrong. I'm not, I'm not wired that way, apparently. Um, for some reason, my songs tend to generate out of things that I want to tell myself. Um, I don't usually write about the dark places. I'm more prone to writing about the light that might pull me out of it, you know? Um, so it's like a lot of times I, I have a message I want to believe, and I find something in that to write about. So I don't know if that's a little bit backwards, but um, I guess I, I have a hard time, um, and Aaron, pr by principle, disagrees with me on this. I, I don't like leaving my listeners in the dark. I like to give them something that they can hang on to, you mm -hmm. know? Because that's been um, that's been the lifesaver for me <clears throat> through things in life, you know, is having something that's like, uh, well, it's been pretty rough patch, but um, but there's something I can find to be grateful for. So I tend to I tend to lean into that stuff more, you know. If that makes sense. Yes, it does. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for turning the tide on us. Uh, <laughs> no, it's great. Yeah. It's great stuff to think about, and I think no matter what, because I mean. I go to work and do other things where it's not like, you know, it's not a job that I want to be doing or something, you know, it's not a chemical plant, but it's, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I go doing something, and, you know, inspiration gets us through our day, you know, I mean, it, it's so important to have a little, no matter if you're a songwriter or, or, or whatever you're doing, you know, mm. uh, you, you know, it's uh, something we can generate, and if we can share with the world how we generate it, uh, maybe someone can take something from it, or we can learn something from it. So that's why I went there. I didn't mean to take yeah. everybody to like a super heavy <laughs> place or something. <laughs> Throw something at me. No, no, no. Yeah. But the, the, the beer. And the beautiful thing is that everyone in this room has their their thing that they get to bring, you know, it, through whatever avenue they choose. So mm -hmm. I think that's important to remember too. Like yeah. we're all on this, you know, we're all equal here. We're all just doing this thing called life mm -hmm. yeah. together. Well, I suspect that's part of why y'all come to this show um, is because you find connection with the artists. I mean, you go to a lot of different shows and hear good music that makes you stomp your foot a little bit, but mm -hmm. you know, y'all get to hear something that makes you nod your head a little bit and say, mm -hmm. "Yeah, I kind of get that." Right? I mean, am I wrong about that? Mm -hmm. I think that's what brings y'all. So, yeah. Well, let's do another tune. Uh, we don't want to keep right. everybody up past their bedtime too much. Um, by that, I mean my bedtime. But. Uh, <laughs> It is a school night. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, uh, we, you, I want to, because I have a feeling you're about to say something that maybe I should say. Um, <laughs> well, feel free. We were talking a little bit before the show. Um, as you know, there is a, a pretty m tremendous weather incident that's happening in our nation right now. And, and we'll, we'll unfortunately have a lot of tragedy uh, inevitably tied to it. So, and one uh, last week as well. Yeah, it's been, it's been a rough time for many, many families in our country because of things that we unfortunately just have no power over and can't avoid. But it doesn't take, that doesn't take away from the tragedy. And it's easy to sort of just make that a thing on the news uh, when you're in a safe place like we are. But I wanted to acknowledge that tonight because as we are here enjoying our lovely lovely evening there are families that are in uh dire straits right now and so um, we acknowledge that uh tonight for uh, just keep prayers and thoughts for the folks in florida um and anywhere along the nation that those things you know move on and mm -hmm. uh and, and there's probably people in our state who have family there who are on you know uh on the edge of their nerves yeah. hoping that folks are going to be okay so um and i think that might be a leeway into music, I don't know, but, um, but I wanted to acknowledge that as well tonight. Mm -hmm. so. As Boone stated earlier, no matter, you know, pretty much whatever you're going through, as bad as it is, you don't have to look very far to find somebody going through something worse. Yeah, you know, so. yeah. Um, this song came to me after Hurricane Harvey dumped 50-something inches of rain on my house. 
I was one of the lucky ones that didn't get water in my house, but uh, so many people did. But I was knocked out by all the love that showed up out of that water. And I'm going to do this song for all those folks affected by these terrible hurricanes that are coming and that came through last week. Helen and Mil uh, Milton. Milton, yeah. Milton, man. We all prayed about the wind We all prayed about the rain We all questioned our sins And the way our lives would change we all wondered where to turn We all wondered what to do We all turned to each other When that storm was through Waters rise But people rise above the greatest source of nature is the power of love. The kindness of strangers runs deeper than any flood. Waters rise, but people rise above. Losing everything is rough You can't imagine how that knocks you down Homes and dreams reduced to stuff Line every street of our town But we all helped each other up That's what it's really all about we were closer and so much stronger when it all finally dried out. Waters rise, but people rise above. The greatest force of nature is the power of love. Kindness of strangers runs deeper than any flood. Waters rise, but people rise above. Waters rise, but people rise. about as good a prayer for those folks as yeah. I can think we yeah. give. Thank you. Wow. Man. Your songs are so good. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I hope you know that and believe Thank that you. and do more shows. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, Chad. That's all I need all to right. hear. <laughs> no. I think I'd like to see more Chad and Ashley shows. That's what I'd like to see. <laughs> I know. We need to get Walt Wilkins to produce a song for us. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That I mean, sounds it, it good just, to me. It, that's full circle yeah, for the night, sense. right? It yeah. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? What, this is the last one? No, it's not the last one. Oh. I mean, are you ready to go? You ready to go home? No, I'm just... <laughs> 
We were talking about bedtime. I'm ready to I mean, go if back you're tired, to Paula's you know? cute little cottage and <laughs> look at all the German things. We'll we'll do one more round after this. How's that? Yeah, yeah that's perfect. No, no, no. I I could play. I could just keep playing. But I'll only play this one and, the, and one more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is, this is a song. Um, this is a song that isn't going to be probably as like emotionally moving as all the other songs we've played tonight. Um, but it's called One Man Band, and it's about a boy. <laughs> I love songwriting. I love hearing other songwriters. Um, the way that a story is told by not telling it is just some of the most cool things. So, um, Wait, but what was the story then? I don't know. You can oh. tell me after. Yeah. I love the song, though. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I want to thank y'all for being here tonight. This has been a really magical one for me because um, y'all are amazing artists. So thank y'all for blessing us by being here on our little stage. Um, I do want to say uh, a, a couple of just uh, announcements real quick before we do one more round with these folks. I'm going to let them kind of brag on themselves here before the last round. Um, that uh, I want to say again a huge thank you to KK and the Rock Box Theater. I don't think the show would feel the same if we were somewhere else. You know, it's just this is this is the place for us. So. Um, I started, uh, Jam Broadcasting hired me a little over a month ago, and now I'm doing a radio show. Have any of y'all heard it? Have y'all listened? I have. I have. Boone listens in I Bandera. Which I heckle. Is, is my, I heckle yeah. him to the Yeah, month. he does. Um, <laughs> but uh, I want y'all to know about it, not because of me, but because it's, it's for y'all. Um, we're doing a three-hour radio show from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, in our remote studio there in Western Edge. 
where I'm live on air talking to Fredericksburg folks, uh, whether it's businesses, city officials, school people, um, just if I can find news that's cool, positive, loving on our community, that's what we're doing. So I would welcome y'all to tune in to 99.1 The Buck between 11 and 2. Tune in all the time. I mean, it's got the best freaking music around here. Yeah. But um, but it, between 11 and 2, uh, it's, it's the Western Edge weekday show. And, um, and you can hear about Fredericksburg things. But I also... And, you know, if you have something cool going on um, or you're an part of an organization or whatever, like, tip me on on it, you know. Uh, always interested in having people on. Chad was on a couple weeks ago. He played a couple uh, tunes on there. Uh, Ashley and I gave it a good shot today, but getting out of Austin is not as easy as anyone thinks it is, and nobody thinks it's easy. So um, that was my that was all my bad. <laughs> oh, no, no I'm, I'm just late. I'm just late <laughs> all the time. And I tried to get there. <laughs> we'll get you. We'll get you. Yeah. But um, but yeah, it's just a cool thing that's going on. Um, we do have shows booked out for the rest of the year. and I'm going to tell you about them right now. And we're starting to book for 2025. So like I said, this is not going anywhere. We've got a good list of artists that we're going to that we're planning to bring in in 2025. But um in December, we have uh, two artists that you might have heard of. Uh, Steve Gary. Is Steve Gary. I keep saying yeah, Steve Gary. Steve Gary. No, Steve Gary. Steve the man. Because people spell their names weird sometimes, and it's just not fair. Uh, Steve Gar Gary. <laughs> lives in Cur get it. <laughs> he lives in Kerrville. Yes, he does. He's I a believe heck he of a songwriter. But, yeah, from, from the Panhandle originally, though. Okay. From like Lubbock, you know. One of those. I'm excited. Great song, right? I got to meet him um, at a show at Pine Plow not too long ago in Kerrville, and he's one of Aaron Lacombe's heroes. So that says a lot right there. Um, and so uh, he's going to be a guest along with a guy named Randy Palmer. Uh, and Randy and I were friends from a songwriting thing we did together years ago. Randy's also a panhandle guy. But uh, Randy has, I think he's been a finalist in the Kerrville New Folk competition, which is a literary competition like three times in his lifetime. He's never won it, but he's been a finalist three times, which that's like, that's epic. So, um, so the guy's a heck of a songwriter. Um, they're going to be our December guests. And uh, the November guests, um, we have responded to the audience almost violent demand um, that our, uh, our radio friend Toby Lee, who does the Highway 16 Drive, is going to come down here on the stage, and, uh, and, and he's going to interview two guest artists. Boone Holding and Brent Ryan. So who's Boone? <laughs> it's also a great way for us to save some money. Um, so <laughs> I'm kidding about that, kind of. But uh, but no, Boone and I are going to play next month. So uh, we thought we'd give y'all a chance to uh, to pick on us. So <laughs> so after that, after that, you'll know why we stay uh, on the host stands and not in the mic. <laughs> but we're going to have a good time. It's going to be fun. So y'all come back in November for that uh, in December. And then we're going to release the, uh, the artist for 2025 as soon as we get them booked. So now I want y'all to tell folks what's coming up for you that you'd like them to know about and then play us one final song. We'll let these folks go home for the night uh, with all the full hearts that you've given them through y'all's music tonight. Chad, obviously you've got a new record coming out. Um, and I think folks should obviously get a hold of that. You have a you have another album that you've already released called Natural Grocers. I'm just kidding about that. I never I never remember the name of your album. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm looking at my calendar to see what I got coming up. <laughs> no, you do your album, your last album set had the word grocer in it. I never remember what the full title was, but it is a wonderful album. It's I listen veterans. To it. Veterans. Veterans Grocer. Veterans, veterans Grocer. Um, I do have some of Chad's songs on the Songwriter TX playlist that's on Spotify. I try to add our artists on there. Um, and there's other artists on there who've not been on the show, but a lot of our, our show artists have been on, are on that Spotify list. So if you're a Spotify user, you can look up the Songwriter TX uh, playlist, um, or it's under my profile, Brent Ryan, too. But um, Chad's are on there because you've been a guest before. Ashley, I have not added you yet, but I'll find, I'll track down some of your tunes and get them on there, too. So, all right. Anyways, y'all tell us about what's coming up and then play us. Well, uh, Friday night, not. <laughs> I'm getting old, y'all. They come in I, handy. I know y'all can't relate to that. <laughs> it's actually not this Friday. Next Friday night, the 18th, I'll be at the Hilltop Cafe right up the road here. Yeah, right. So yeah, yeah. tell all your friends and y'all come on. Yeah. yeah. Um, you want me to play a song? What time do you start out at the Hilltop? Oh, about 6 30 ish. Cool. cool. Yeah. Very good. good That's a great good spot. Great spot. Good spot. Yeah. So you can get home early. It's a Friday night, you know, sleep late. 
Um, thank y'all so much for having me. Wrong. Y'all are great. This is a this is fun. Wrong. It didn't even feel like uh, I was being interrogated. Like I, you know. <laughs> but you were. I you know. Were. I know. I was. But you but you made it painless. <laughs> thank you. You're man. good at what you do. <clears throat> thank y'all so much for coming out. I'm gonna I'm gonna close this song. Uh, close it out with uh, this song that I, I I wrote. I got the idea for this song uh, at a funeral. So. Um, yeah. It doesn't really get them dancing on the tables or anything, but um, it's about growing older, you know. Hey, I know I'm probably the only one in here that can really relate to this. <laughs> he said, Hey, my old friend. I know it's been too long We've been threatening to get together now For years on these newfangled little phones My, how things have changed around here Since I left home Hey, I noticed Driving into town today The old cafe is gone I sure thought It would take longer To get this sold Seems like yesterday We were racing down to the creek With our fishing Trying like hell to beat each other down there to that secret honey hole. Oh, look who came. It's Sailor Jane. You sure loved her mom so. I couldn't run down to that creek today if I had to. Much less race to save my soul. on the downhill side of life but I'm grateful to be one of the chosen few that made it over the hill it's been a hell of a ride yeah and he said well my old friend I'll just say so long you got a lot of friends here and they're all wanting to say the same I best be moving home Hey, won't you give sweet Ruby a great big old hug for me When you get home Hey, y'all don't worry, I'll be seeing the both of you By next Christmas if these damn doctors ain't wrong Thank you so much. Thank you, Chad. Thank you very much. Man. Thank you, man, for sharing your songs with us tonight. Wow. Ashley, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much for having me. Um, yeah, Moon and Brent, y'all are great hosts. Um, this is a really, really special thing y'all are doing. Thank so you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah. You've been pretty good for an Austin person. So. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, they don't. I'm not pick... sure what that means, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't pick this up in Austin. <laughs> and by the way, that was Brent that said that. 
No, no, I'm just being funny. We've had so many Austin guests, but yeah. no, it's been really nice having you here. You've got a special spirit about you, so thank you for sharing thank, that with us. Thank yeah. you so much. It's, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank all of y'all so much for coming out and supporting uh, us songwriters and this show uh, and the Rock Box Theater. Did I say that right? You did. Rock Box you Theater. You got it. Nailed it. I almost wanted to say Rock Box. Rock's but box rock is even box. cooler. Yeah, Rock's Theater. box. Isn't this place beautiful? <laughs> yeah. We love it. We love it. And all the staff here, thank you so much. Um, Friday night, Pam Tillis is going to be here. Pam Tillis. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. All right. right here, right here in this out. stage. Yeah, so. We're warming it up. <laughs> We're warming it up. We opened it up for Pam Tillis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put that on your bio. <laughs> put that on the, yeah, put that on the bio. Um, but, uh, yeah, Chad... Man, your your songs are so uh, meaningful and just it, it touched my heart tonight. Every song you've played, I've just been like, oh my gosh, it just has relevance in my life. So really, really appreciate it. I hope that you have some of those recorded so I can listen to them again and send them to my family and friends. Um, but uh, yeah, especially that last song you played, my, my grandmother, who I was really close with, actually passed away last week. Um, I'm wearing a, a shirt of hers from 76, um, the year you were born, but I'm not. Thanks for, calling, <laughs> thanks for calling me out on that one, Ashley. <laughs> he said I was born that year. But, but the radio people don't know who I was pointing to. Yeah, so. He seems so proud when he said it earlier. You know? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I this was 66. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. That's why you write such good songs, man. Yes. Yeah. Another 10 years. I was 06. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 we were all like, no, wait. I wasn't. Could, I, thought, I just, I, I tried to do quick yeah, math. No, it didn't tried. work. Um, yeah, because you, no. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm 85. Do the math. Do the math. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah anyway this last song I'm going to play is called Unravel Me and it's uh, I haven't released music in like nine years and so I'm going to be releasing this song it's done it's mastered it just I need to release it um, and so I need to stop procrastinating on that but um, yeah all right here we go
Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you so much. Ashley Monocle, y'all. That song went right through me. That was amazing. Yeah, that won't be the last time I hear that one. Um, so her song will be coming out soon, pretty soon. <laughs> Before the end of the year. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Mark your calendars. <laughs> hey, y'all have been a fantastic audience, but that's no surprise. Y'all always are. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, the show will be second Wednesday in November um, with me and Boone up here, and we'll have some fun. Uh, December with Randy and Steve. Uh, Y'all mark those in your calendars and bring friends. Uh, you know, bring somebody out here because uh, we want to share this magical experience and pack this place out and give yeah. it to as many people as we can. Let them know it's free and you can have a wonderful and memorable night. So y'all have a good evening. For those on the airwaves tonight, thank y'all for tuning in. We hope we'll see you in the theater. The Tip Jar Guitar is down here tonight. Please give them a little gift on your way out if you can. And we'll see y'all next month, all right? Have a great night. Yeah.